the enemy wants to infiltrate our ranks. One of the ways in which the enemy infiltrates the ranks is to try to get spies. Huh? Pay him some money and he'll go into the masjid and he'll sit and he will listen and he'll tape record and he'll go back and report the spy. There was a young man in Miami and then the FBI approached him and asked him to become one of their informers. And of course, we'll pay you. All that we want you to do is to go into the masjid and listen and observe and take notes and tape record and come back and give it to us. If we send our people, it's going to be more dangerous for us. But if we choose a Muslim, we can do it. The young man said, no. I cannot betray my brothers. So the government of the United States of America threw him out of the country, took away his green card, and threw him out of the United States. And his uncle told me this story. Now here is a young man who could not be bought. That's character. That's values. No, Uncle Sam, not for five dollars, and not for five hundred dollars, and not for five million dollars, I am not up for sale. That's character. You can't buy me, not even with a mountain of gold. That's character. That's morals. That's integrity. So they try to attack you. But if the heart is turned to Allah and you have in that heart honesty and truth and the fear of Allah, then they can't buy you, not even with a mountain of gold. I want to show you what happens when the heart is not turned to Allah and we do not imbue ourselves with those divine attributes. I want to now turn to a subject that every young man is going to be mighty interested in. A subject called love. Falling in love. We have some young people here tonight, do we? You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I hope I don't take too much time on this subject, but it's very important. Because it deals with the heart of morality and character, the attack. If you want to understand how they destroy the power of a people, they know that it's the young men who wage war. So what they do in Karachi in Pakistan? They flood the market with what they call blue movies, pornography. Hmm? Every single street corner now has a video shop. And the video shop are peddling these blue movies. Do you think the blue movies reached to Pakistan by accident? You must be dreaming. It is the enemy who is attacking. And as the young men look at the blue movies, the pornography, in the videos and on the internet, what happens inside? قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا Successful will be those who purify themselves. And those who corrupt themselves will end up in the garbage bin. 
They understand it better than we do. And so they attack you internally. And as you watch these blue movies and this pornography and the internet, you are internally corrupted. And the internal foundations of power are now destroyed. So let's come to love. You know Surah Al-Layl and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with such economy of language, he teaches us about the male-female relationship. He says, بَعْدَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ He says, وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَى He takes an oath by the night and that by, by that which it shrouds so mysteriously, so splendidly, it shrouds, it covers. And then he goes on to say, وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا تَجَلَّى and he takes an oath by the day, and by its bright light, nothing covered here. And then he comes on to say, وَمَا خَلَقَ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنْثَى وَمَا خَلَقَ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنْثَى That in the same way that Allah created the night and the day, so too did Allah create the male, and the female. Hmm? And then comes the last verse in the passage, Inna sa'ayyakum lashatta, that you are functionally different. The, the day has the job of the day, and the night has the job of the night. Now, this passage of the Quran actually belongs to the subject of Islam, and the modern feminist revolution. Hmm? But we're not going to be doing this lecture in Sydney. Islam or an Islamic response to the modern feminist revolution and its struggle for women's liberation. But there's a part of that subject which is relevant tonight. When the day is day and the night is night, look what happens. When a man is a man, not a rat. Look what happens. When the day is approaching the night, do you notice what happens? There is tremendous excitement. There is the excitement of two powerful forces attracted to each other. And as the day approaches the night, the day expresses its excitement and its joy by painting the sky in a riot of colors. It's called a sunset. You got sunset in Sydney? <laughs> That's the excitement of the day approaching the night. And then when the day meets the night, the day plunges into the arms of the night. Intense attraction. And then after the day has disappeared into the arms of the night, then all through the night there's a time for rest, and there's a time for sleep, and there's a time for love, and there's a time for worship. And then there is the time to say goodbye. And now the day must leave. But the night is holding on to the day. And so, no longer plunging, now the day has to struggle to get out of the arms of the night. And so only one ray of light at a time, until eventually the day can extricate itself from the arms of the night. That is the intense attraction of the male for the female. Of course, when, as in Singapore, and in France, and the United States, and in Australia, 
the feminist revolution takes over and now the night wants to become day. You understand that? <laughs> then the night will no longer be truly night. No. Now she dresses like a man. Have you seen her? With a jacket and the trousers? I've seen her with a tie as well. <laughs> now she has to talk like a man. The voice is masculine. I'm not going to mention the name of anybody in Mr. Clinton's cabinet. <laughs> now the face also becomes masculine. Sometimes you can't tell the difference. Now she has to behave like a man. No more of the shyness and the bashfulness of a woman. As she comes to approach Musa, Nabi Musa alayhi salam by the well. And she's so shy and she's so bashful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes her. No, 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 no. Uncle Sam's daughters ain't like that. She's got to behave like a man. And now there's rivalry between the two. And in consequence of the night trying to become day, she loses her femininity. And when she loses her femininity, then the attraction begins to wane. Wane means? To decrease. What happens when the day is no longer attracted to the night? Answer? The day will now mate with the day. The day will now mate with the day. Who prophesied that? Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. And so homosexuality and lesbianism is a necessary consequence of the adoption of the modern feminist revolution. We quote it from the Quran to point out to you the intensity of the attraction of the male for the female. Particularly when you are young and the fires burn very bright. They say, you got to fall in love first. And only after you've fallen in love, then you get married. Of course, marriage is very expensive. Because you not only have to pay for the wedding dress and the wedding clothing, and you have to pay for the banquet hall and all of these things, but you also have to pay your lawyer and she has to pay her lawyer to have the prenuptial agreement. <laughs> and then you get married. And you pledge eternal love for each other. You've heard it before. Eternal love for each other. And eternity lasts for six months. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Eternity lasts for six months. We had so much love for each other. If you're a teenager tonight, listen to me. We had so much love for each other. Where did it go? After they got married, love left them. It went with a cloud passing away. After they got married, every day the love grew less and less and less and less until it disappeared. Where did it go? The answer is, it was in love. Allah is Al-Wadud, the God of love. And so true love comes only from Allah. It doesn't come from a, from a wink across the classroom. <laughs> it doesn't come from rubbing shoulders in the marketplace. And it doesn't come from comparing blue jeans in a shopping mall. <laughs> Allah is Al-Wadud, the God of love. And love comes only from Allah. This is the message we've come to deliver tonight in Lakemba.
on morals and character.